All right, hello there. Um, today I'm going to do something that I've never done before. I live in Catalonia. I'm from the United States. And, you know, I figured, uh, why not do something different? You know, pass on some of my knowledge that I've accumulated uh, over these few years. And one of those things is uh, knowledge of the Catalan language. And uh, today we're just going to be taking a look at uh, some of the basics, just the basics, right? Uh, just some basic stuff, you know, that you always do when, you know, when you start learning a language. Um, I could talk about Catalan language history, uh, but that would probably, to do it justice, would, would need to encompass an entire video. Uh, I will say that it's a very old language. Uh, and uh, it predates Spanish. So as you can see here, um, <laughs> I'm using a WordPad. I don't have PowerPoint, or at least I can't find it. <laughs> and you know, for the uh, for the purposes of this video, which you know I've never done anything like this before, uh, we're just going to use WordPad. It's good enough. Um, so yeah, uh, welcome, uh, Ben Binguts. Uh, that's what you say when you are referring or, or welcoming rather a, a group of people okay and we'll get into um when this changes a bit more uh if it's just one person it's bimbingut all right so this is the basics so as you see uh hola is hello right uh in catalan the l is a very uh how can i explain this to you it's uh kind of similar to how Scottish people pronounce their L's. Okay, they pronounce it very, very heavily, I guess you could say, right? So, hola, like that, right? So, as you see, good morning, bon dia, good afternoon, bona tarda, good evening, bon vespera. All right, now, as you see, you might have heard um, the E, okay? Uh, final E's uh, in Catalan uh, change uh, sound, right? they change pronunciation, and it kind of depends on where you live in Catalonia or where you visit. <laughs> if you live here, uh, I would probably guess that you already speak Catalan. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that, but uh, yeah, the E, uh, the final E usually changes pronunciation uh, in Eastern Catalan, and I kind of, when I speak it, I, I kind of have like a mixture of both uh, Eastern and Western uh, Catalan. And I live in an area where Western Catalan is the predominant uh, dialect of Catalan. Uh, so here they would, instead of saying Bon Vespre, they would say Bon Vespre. All right. So let's move on. Uh, good night. Bona nit. Goodbye, adeu. All right. How are you? Como estas? I'm well, and you? Be. Y tu? Be. Y tu? Say that again. Uh, I put uh, I'm in parentheses here because when somebody asks you, uh, como estas? In Catalan, uh, you don't need to to say the Catalan word for I. Okay, you don't need to say I am well. Uh, they already know that they are talking about you. That well, that you're talking about yourself. You know what I mean? Um, it's just the way they do things. Okay, in a lot of these uh, a lot of these different languages um, uh, that English does do uh, that they don't. You know, and then they'll do things that we don't do in English. You know what I mean? It's just one of the things. Uh, so, again, you don't need to say, you don't need to refer to yourself, okay, basically. Uh, you just say, be y tu. Like in, like in Spanish, you say, bien y tu, right? Uh, excuse me, like for, for example, when you're... Uh, I don't know, you're, you're trying to make way, okay, so you're in, you're in Barcelona, and you're trying to, you're trying to get through a crowd or something, and you say, uh, 
there, there's 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 several things here. Okay, I want to get into this right now. Okay, uh, uh, this is the most common perlo, which is the equivalent in English is is pardon, pardon me, pardon me. It doesn't literally mean pardon me. It just says pardon. You know, pardon. Uh, perdo, perdo. All right, uh, perdoni. Okay, this is when. Okay, these two here, I'll say first. These two here, perdo and perdoni. Uh, these two here are for when you're speaking to one person. Okay, I didn't mean to say a crowd. Okay, this is for just one person. All right, uh, the difference is, is perdoni. Okay, this is when. Um, to make it simple, this is what you use uh, referring to an elder, okay? Um, uh, it's a formal way of saying uh, perdo, all right? So, you see an old person, you want to get by? Perloni, hey, perloni, all right? Now, these two here are for when you're referring to a group of people, okay? Perdoneu, all right? That's the normal thing that you would say, perdoneu. And then here is perdonin, perdonin, all right? Perdonin is, uh, of course, falls in the same category as perdoni, okay? Perdonin, uh, that's for multiple, <laughs> multiple old people will say, okay? Uh, and then uh, a lot of people also say uh, perdona, okay? Uh, I usually just say perdo, okay? But you can also say perdona. All right. So, uh, what's your name? Cometius. Cometius. All right. That's when you're uh, asking someone normally, and then if you want to be formal and you're asking an elder, you say Comes Dieu. And then if you want to be, you know, a bit more advanced, uh, Comes Dieu. I'll add this now. Comes Dieu Buste. Comes Dieu Buste. Buste, of course, uh, is the formal form of the word for you. Okay, buste. Uh, an equivalent example would be in Spanish, uh, usted. Okay. Uh, how old are you? Quan tens? Quan tens? All right. Normally in Catalan. I'll get into uh, a little pronunciation here. When you see uh, NYS, okay, uh, it's it's like a inch sound, right? So it's not eins, right? It's einch, einch, okay? I don't know if uh, I'm kind of portraying or, or getting my point across about how to pronounce this well, uh, but you pronounce it einch, okay? I'll say it again. Okay, and then of course, if you want to be formal, okay, and you're talking to an elder, you say "quanjanste," "quanjanste." All right. Of course, that's the formal way to say it. "Te." Huh? Uh, where are you from? Donets. Donets. Uh, okay. Now uh, they do this in Catalan a lot. All right. Um, that the the D there means de okay which is the catalan word uh for of and from okay so what this is really saying here uh if you want to literally translate it it's uh from where are you from where are you okay donets donets where are you from donets e I just, I speak Catalan the whole, the whole day, you know, and sometimes when I talk in English, a Catalan word kind of comes out, but uh, <laughs> we'll ignore that. What I meant to say was, and, uh, dones, dones, uh, that's for formal. We should, uh, should be getting uh, the hang of that by now, this formal side here. And then uh, if you want to ask where something is, 
data you say on is and then whatever you're looking for on is you know and then you know i don't know if you want to look for the bathroom uh on is oh lavabo for example on is we'll go ahead and type that now on is oh lavabo on is oh lavabo now uh, you'll notice the o uh, a lot of O's in Catalan are actually pronounced uh, as a U, okay? Lavabo instead of lavabo, lavabo, okay? Uh, where is the bathroom or the restroom? Where is? One is, all right? And uh, now I'm just going to do uh, some pronouns, okay? Or pronoms, as they're called in Catalan. Uh, and we'll have some examples and that'll be it for this kind of you know introductory kind of thing all right so uh as you see here i have it all written out here and look i recommend like if you are really serious about learning catalan i'll get into this now um it's it's all about repetition and if you learn in any language, you got to have somebody to practice with. For me, it was a bit easier because I live here and it was either you, you know, you learn Catalan and you learn Spanish or you, <laughs> you can't talk to anybody. You know what I mean? There's lots of people that speak English, uh, but it's good when you move to another country. It's good to learn the language or languages in my case. Um, all about the repetition and practice uh, repetition I, I recommend writing notes you know buying a book uh, doing exercises okay and then you know after you do a few exercises go back and do those exercises again so they they stay in your brain you know that's 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 how I did it okay I didn't go to any formal education center to to learn this all right so uh, let's just get started with the pronouns all right and stop kind of rambling on here uh i and you see <clears throat> i also put the uh the uh the verbs here all right the uh the verb to be all right uh i am all right je soc je soc je soc okay now uh the j uh, here in Catalan, uh, with this word, uh, Jean, I always pronounce it Jean because it's a J, okay, and, and J, uh, is usually pronounced in Catalan as, uh, I guess you could say a Z-H-E, um, in, in English, uh, if that's like a worthy comparison, okay, uh, but I always say Jean, uh, but there's a lot of people here, I don't know why they do it, there's a lot of people who say yo, okay, yo, uh, which is very strange to me, uh, because it's not a Y, and and we're not speaking Spanish, but uh, that's that's besides my point, that's that's more of a personal thing, I always say yo, there's there's people who say yo, okay, uh, but, but I'll, I, I am, yo soc, yo soc, alright, I am, yo soc, you are, tu it's, Tu ets, you are, all right, tu ets, uh, you are, formal, okay, you want to, you want to say formal, uh, bustes, 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 all right, that's you are formal, okay, uh, you all are, vosaltres so, vosaltres so, if you notice uh, that O, we're pronouncing it as a U, okay? Vosaltres, so. That's you all are, okay? Uh, you all uh, are formal, okay? Formal. Bustes son. Bustes son. Okay? All right, he and she is a. Ella es. Maybe it's a bit easier if I just say this first. El es. That's he. El es. And for her, ella es. Ella es. 
Uh, a lot of, there's a lot of Catalan words that end with a double L. Okay, and when they end in double L, the pronunciation isn't the same, and I, I can't do it justice, really, because I'm a <laughs> because I'm a devious foreign. <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, just try to emulate kind of what I say. Hey, hey, um, you got to do something weird with your tongue. I can't explain it. Okay, but uh, we'll kind of ignore that. <laughs> for now, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's it's weird. It's it's something uh, very uh, something very specific and unique to Catalan. That that final double L there. Okay, something you got to hear for yourselves and hear from a native speaker. That would even be better. But uh, anyway, they are all right. They are A's son and. Ellas, oops, what am I doing? Ellas, son, ellas, son, ellas, son. Okay. Now I put this here, all right, because in Catalan and with a lot of other similar, um, similar languages, uh, languages that have the same rules, uh, some of the same rules as Catalan. Okay. When you're referring to a group of people, okay, when we're talking about they, when we're talking about them, okay, uh, if the group is either all men or men and women, you say A's, okay? If they're men, if they're all men, or they're men and women, you say A's, okay? If they are all women, you say a yes. Okay, you got that? If they're all women, you say a yes. Okay? A A's son, a yes son. Okay. Now this this E here, alright, in Catalan when uh, a word ends in an A, okay, that's singular. That does not have an accent, okay? When you put it into a plural form, it always changes to e. Okay, and that's and, and it, it's typically for what they call you know the feminine words. Okay, words that end in a in singular. When you change them to plural, they end in well they don't end in e. You change it to es is what I want to mean here. Okay, you always change that a to a es. All right, in plural. Okay, so we are nosotros som, nosotros som, and you notice that O is an O sound and it's not a U sound, all right, it depends on the, it depends on the word, okay, that pronunciation, all right, but in this case it's nosotros som, I'm pronouncing this O, Okay, this, oh, I'm having trouble here with my mouse. Uh, I'm pronouncing this O here as a U, uh, but this one, no. All right, depends on the word. Nosotros, some. All right, and here's some examples. Uh, or, as they're called in Catalan, exemplus. Exemplus, all right. I'm from the United States. Sock. Dos Estados Unidos. Sock dos Estados Unidos. Sock dos Estados Unidos. Okay. Now, a lot of times uh, in a conversation, it's not very necessary to put uh, your sock dos Estados Unidos. All right. You don't, sometimes you don't need to, sometimes you do. Uh, when you put it there, it's it's not necessary it's hard for me to explain there's there, there's there's something behind it okay and when you live here long enough you you kind of it's kind of like second nature you know when to do it and and not when to it's not a mistake to to always do it uh but you don't always do it and it's it's not like it's against the rules to always do it but uh people typically don't always wouldn't always say something like that okay uh, you can just simply say, Sock does a statue needs. 
Uh, but for example, if you're like introducing yourself, um, or if you're like talking to somebody you don't know, okay, you're like buying something or something and you don't, you don't speak very much Catalan, okay, uh, you, you can say, uh, something like, uh, usentu, uh, yo soy de los Estados Unidos, uh, if you don't really understand, usentu, yo soy de los Estados Unidos, if, if you don't, you know, if you're having a hard time understanding, right, because uh, that happened to me, you know, uh, but normally in a conversation, soy de los Estados Unidos, okay, I'm from the United States, all right, United States, uh, is Els Estados Unidos, uh, but we put a D there, okay, because uh, that's from, from, that D, from, and then the ELS, Els, the United States, because they always, we always change uh, the word the in Catalan is obviously L and la. But that could change. We'll get into that later. Okay. But we always we always uh, make that into plural uh, if the subject of the sentence is also plural. Okay. You always change that. All right. So, soc dels Estats Units. Soc dels Estats Units. Okay. Here's an example for you. Okay. You are very tall. It's mo alt. It's mo alt. Sorry, I messed up there. It's mo alt. It's mo alt. You are very tall. Okay, it's mo alt. Uh, the word for very in Catalan is molt. And that T right there, a lot of times um, you don't really pronounce that. All right. Tu ets mo alt. All right. Are you from here? Uh, okay, and we're going to use the formal form of you. Buste is the key. Buste is the key. Or you can change the, the kind of, you can change the way you word the sentence. Um, is the key buste? And you could say it that way, and there's no problem with that. You know, you choose. Uh, I would probably. I, I probably use this one more. Buste is the key. Uh, but it's not very common to use buste. Uh, you know, unless you're talking to somebody uh, that's that's an elder that you don't really know. And then when you get more confidence with them, you change, you know, the way you refer to them. You don't use buste anymore. You use, you know, two. All right. Uh, she lives in a small town. All right. Ella viu. And un poble petit. Viu en un poble petit. Viu en un poble petit. Okay, and this is uh, the word for uh, she lives. Uh, viu. Uh, she lives in a small. Sorry, she lives in a small. All right, town. All right, a lot of times they. Uh, they change uh, the word order. Uh, it's not what we're used to in English a lot of times. Uh, sometimes it does change, uh, uh, but it, but it, it, it's complicated and kind of convoluted to explain. Uh, but sometimes uh, they can change it. Like like for example, uh, like like the beginning of a story or something. Uh, you you might see. This is just an example here. Okay, and un and un. Petit popla, oops, and un petit popla. Uh, you can see that as well, but um, you know this is the most common. Biu uh, and un popla petit, and uh, uh, words that end in b l e in Catalan, uh, they don't pronounce it like a b. They pronounce it more like a p. Okay, so it sounds like popla, popla. Right, and that's the word for town, popla. Uh, he is from Barcelona. A is the Barcelona. A is the Barcelona. Or simply, is the Barcelona. Is the Barcelona. All right, 
I hope you're kind of picking up now on the on the pronunciation. Are you all okay? Esteu bé vosaltres? This one you're a bit worried. Esteu bé vosaltres? Or you could just simply say esteu bé. Esteu bé. Uh, they are very young. They are all very young. Sorry. All right, and we know the difference now. I already explained the difference, but uh, more typically, uh, it's not going to be all. Uh, just, just forget what I just said right there. <laughs> uh, uh, son mol joves. Son mol joves. Son mol joves. All right, and that's the word for for young joves, uh, for you know young people. That's uh, plural, of course. Joves. Son mol joves. All right. Uh, where are you all going? All right. And we're going to use formal now. On ban bustes. On ban bustes. All right. And finally, we are having a good time. We are having a good time. Ustem pasan be. Ustem pasan be. And one more time, u estem pasan be. All right, uh, probably in a later lesson I'll get into what this word means. Uh, but this word is, I'll just give you kind of like an example here. This word is re referring uh, to the good time that you're having. It's like a word, it's like another word for it, okay? Ooh. And then Catalan, the H is always silent, okay? So... U estem pasan be. U estem pasan be. We are having a good time. All right. And I made some other stuff for this lesson, but I think the video's gone on for long enough. So tried something new today, and uh, I hope you guys get something out of it. So I'll see you guys next time.